Hello friends, today we will talk about Fio BTR7 DAC and amplifier. It's a successor of Fio BTR5 and this is a, a Android variant. This is type C to USB A variant. And there is another variant which is uh, Lightning that is for iPhone. And there is a cover included in the box which is not a very good quality but it's okay type. And in the box we have uh, the cables and uh, this is a USB-C to USB-C and we have a USB-C to USB-A and a user guide. So nothing else there in the box. So you can see this is the Fio BTR7. It's a bigger and thicker than the BTR5. It looks good and it's a tiny display and uh, the design is just uh, similar like Fio M11, M15, 7 and uh, on the right side we have all the buttons here you can turn off the charge and uh, we have volume rockers power button in the right hand side let's do the size comparison between Shanling of 4 and Fio BTR7 you can see it's a little taller size and little bigger so uh, let me switch on it quickly so you can see uh, it's uh, asking for pairing with the devices and it's in my phone it's showing let me connect it so now it's connected to double ac 44k 24 bit and it doesn't change for double ac it's a fixed 44k and the display will only show this value whatever music you play also it support wireless charging okay even in the uh, with the cover it will also show the wireless charging and it's also charged perfectly wirelessly and you can also connect to Fio application control application you can see uh, Fio BTR7 double AC is written there okay all type of uh, settings are there in this application and you can see there is a firmware upgrade software upgrade is available for this device so let me quickly upgrade this then i will again open so now it's upgraded and all types of bluetooth codec is selected there is a equalizer also you can change accordingly but by default the sound whatever sound it uh, produce I really like that so I don't use the equalizer boost balance mode output is also there you can boost the sound the bass will be a little more even if you connect to uh, the laptop via USB you can see PCM is written and my laptop is uh, providing 32 bit and 352 kilohertz quality so that's what it's showing in the display and I first use it with Fio FH7 and the bass is very impactful and the treble side is little flat and uh, the detail is good and it is not that smooth like Sunling of 4 but the sound quality if you see it's very good in the Fio v 7 as compared to Sunling of 4 De detail is more in uh, Fio BTR7 and in Shanling of 4 it's very smooth and intimate sound quality and it uh, has uh, both 4.4mm uh, balance and 3.5 uh, single ended output in Fio BTR7 I also use uh, Sony IR M9 IEM it's very dark sounding IEM but uh, in Fio BTR7 it's uh, very fun to listen because uh, impactful bass and uh, highs are very good mids are not that uh, smooth but it's a detail very detailed and it's like uh, a DU file type of uh, device and else it also produce so much of power even it can play uh, LCDX and Sennheiser 800S I mean SD800S Channeling of 4 also has decent power but it doesn't have uh, uh, power like VTR7 and uh, Shanling of 4 is not that detailed 
like this device BTR7 but I like to hear the music in Shanling due to its smoothness and BTR7 is very powerful and uh, its uh, balance not fully balanced uh, bass is little high if you run in high gain and uh, uh, the FEO FS7 sounds good with uh, Sunlink A4 and my Sony IR IEM uh, sounds good with FEO BTR7 and it's uh, like a little V sound signature and it provides a uh, few settings in, in built in this device first one uh, is gain and uh, if you select this you will find low gain and high gain so you can set according to your mood or your device and filters are also there first slow filter equalizer also there predefined equalizers you can see jazz pop etc and car mode is there audio input uh, usb 2.0 or 1.0 so and display brightness screen timeout other things are there you can check that out so this is all about this device fio btr7 it's a very nice device it's a successor of fio btr5 and uh, the sound quality is uh, very good it's very close to fio m series adapts and even few desktop amplifiers thanks for watching this video